<laughs> in this video, we're taking a look at a 2021 Windows gaming laptop compared to a 2021 M1 Max, which is a Mac OS laptop. One you could get at Micro Center for $500 or around Best Buy open box. The other one also from Micro Center at $2,000. And this is going to be a quick look at several things that you could be curious about with these devices starting first with the keyboards so I left the keyboard sound on you could hear the tactile clicks of typing on a typing test online and with the same typing test done on the M1 Max much quieter and in my opinion from being a gaming perspective I like the Windows gaming laptop because it feels more responsive in my opinion So the speakers themselves you could hear were quite louder on the M1 Max and now we're testing out StarCraft 2, this one running on the M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM. You can see here that the settings were set on all high and at all high we got around 40 FPS and then later we changed the game speed to 2 and it got even worse. So I think this game is runnable at medium settings which is in my opinion a disappointment as it seems that a lot of the software issues in terms of running video games on M1 Max, as I've covered multiple times on this channel, are not ideal for gaming. And you're better off even literally just getting both devices. If you really want a MacBook, you get a cheap M1 Pro MacBook and then pair that with this $500 G14. Now we see here that I changed the settings back to medium and here we get, in my opinion, acceptable frame rates, but there's a little input lag and stuff that happens um, whether you're using a Bluetooth mouse or a wired mouse, which a wired mouse is in this one, it just, it, the way to describe it is if you're used to playing on a Windows machine and you switch to a Mac, you'll get some lag. Now moving over to how the Windows G14 performs. This one had a default setting at the extreme for the most max out resolutions and graphical gameplay settings. And when we run the custom setting, which is a hosted online server, by the way, so this uh, one thing I don't like about StarCraft is everything has to be online. We can see here it's getting 120 frames per second, which is the max FPS of the G14, at least in this 2021 model that I got. And it just seems smoother, whether it's mouse acceleration or something, something I can't explain when playing uh, video games on the Mac OS. It just doesn't seem responsive. It could be the refresh rate of the monitor. It could be multiple things that people have placed on our Mac gaming that you can check out. But essentially, I prefer, um, you know, just the responsiveness and, and click through, at least in terms of gaming. Now, as an overall machine with the M1 Max, um, I think Mac OS does help be in a productive suite as the animations throughout the uh, throughout the device are smooth, whereas compared with Windows devices, um, sometimes you get some lag or hangs in, in the animations. But it, the strong suit is if you if your workflow, quote unquote workflow, involves playing video games. So the last thing I'll end on is that, of course, when you play on an M1 Max, you hit this Apple button and your games go from almost 300 games available to only 140. Whereas if you're on the G14, you get all Windows games available. Um, so there's another video I made in terms of playing Windows games on Mac that you could compare. Um, but yeah, keep that in mind if deciding to play games on the Mac. Moving areas now, one of the last things I test is Blender. So this is the M1 Max machine running the classroom setting. Keep in mind that compared to M3 Max does not have the ray tracing available and you get an estimated time of about a minute, minute 19 seconds. And we compare this to the G14 and let's see what the results are there. Switched over to the G14 and hitting the render image with F12 or clicking through, we see that the estimated time is around one minute. It's hard to see, but you can also tell by the Windows key on the bottom that this RTX 3060 is running at around the same speed as the M1 Max. Um, so interesting in some workflows or settings, you'll get the same performance while in other workflows like video games, you do not. So finally, rounding out at what the final render times were, M1 Max is at a minute 24, and the G14 has a final render time of one minute 
and one second exactly. So keep that in mind with these devices. That's a quick review. Be sure to leave some comments or subscribe if you guys have any questions on these devices. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.